Hey guys, welcome back to Steam December 2020. Today we are playing a game called Rakuen, which um, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but uh, this uh, title theme is pretty sick. It's got these vocal tracks going. Also, I'm going to have to make another border. Screw you guys. I think it's just going to be the same border for every game that needs a border, though. I think it's just going to be that kind of uh, uh, line. Um, what do you call that? That like polygon line uh, wave sort of thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know very much about this game either. This was a, uh, impulse buy when it was on sale because it was suggested for people who like To The Moon. I do like To The Moon, but I'm a little worried that this is going to make me cry. So let's, uh, start a... Um, how do I actually select the new... Okay, so I guess my controller is not working here. We'll, we'll do this with the mouse, that's fine. All right, book activated. Uh, controls, arrow keys, not the number pad. Move, space or enter to confirm or interact with things. Escape to cancel or go to the menu. Q to talk with mom when she's with you. All right, pretty simple, sure. Yeah, so all I really know is that there's a kid with a paper hat. He's with his mom a lot, but um, looks like he's in the hospital. Oh no, is he terminally ill? Is this a story about a terminally ill kid who goes into some kind of fantasy world to cope with his terminal illness? <sighs> Who's there? There's a lot of those, by the way. And even things that aren't that, people like to say that it's like... Oh, wow, this is, that's a that's a lot of bass. Okay, so we got Yami here. Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. H who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But hey, never let me out of my room. Oh, but they never let me out of my room. Sorry, dyslexic moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Yeah, so this is like a sick ward. Heh. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. Oh, well, that's not going to make a good Let's Play. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. I like how they, like, use the music and stuff and make it feel like horror. Like, if the nurses catch you. Like, that's it, man. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yami? Where'd you go? Alright, so I don't know if this is going to have so much, like, gameplay to it as just story that you happen to activate by, like, moving around. Um, right, arrow keys. You told me arrow keys. He did tell me arrow keys. I was I was clicking the mouse. So let's uh, look at stuff. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Um, I want to look at my IV. An IV bag filled with a saline solution. Yeah, that's uh, for keeping you hydrated when you can't drink water. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, patient number 237. Pemetrex... This sodium, 800 milligrams once, carboplatin once, carboplatin once, okay. Uh, treatment guide. And that's another hat, an origami hat. A kid likes origami hats. He's wearing one, then another. Oh! Okay, phone's ringing. Why is this so horror-y? I mean... Hospitals are terrifying, though, you're right. Hello? Hello, dear, it's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know 
and my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom, I understand. But I'm off work this week, so I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. Oh, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. I like, just thinking about having to go through this, I can like start crying right now. Oh man, this even like looks like to the moon. She looks like Ava. Okay. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha! Huh. Okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. So let me check my belongings again then. Um, oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it. They took Raccoon. Oh, so what is Raccoon? What did they take? Raccoon. It's my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they'd take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Well, I'll give them something to do. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I guess we just get to, uh, leave now. So, oh, this is the bathroom. Uh, fill the sink with water? Sure. Why not? What do I do with... Now that it's... The sink is filled with water. Okay, we did it. I forgot to turn on the light. So now the sink's filled with water. That doesn't really do anything. A mirror. I think this might have been made in RPG Maker. Feels like something that would have been made in RPG Maker. Um... All right, wow, we got a whole hospital to explore here. So yeah, I think this is more of a, like, feeling, getting a story, feeling feelings kind of game. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I guess not, I didn't even, like, respond. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. All right, so let's, uh, look in this room. Let's, let's bother some old people. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. Old people in hospitals are mean, man. And, it, like, I can't blame them, but they're so mean. And where is that nurse with my coffee? Alright, I found a book about airplanes. Um broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. Goodness. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. 
He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? We got uh, patient number 196 blood samples. They keep the blood samples in the room? Is that how that works? Okay, we got their treatment guide. Oh, the door is locked. Because that's the bathroom. Yeah, I have to remember the doors I want are on the side. Um, the door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Um, well, I'm a curious little kid, so I'm going to look at the doorknob. There is an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. So that must mean I'm able to get a key at some point and get in. However, it doesn't appear to be turned on. Sure, sure, sure. What's up with you? Okay, Cora. Hey there. Um, yeah, what's up? Hey, I don't know... I don't think we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool! And don't worry, my mom knows. Knows you have a pink mohawk? She's the one who let me do it. Okay, that's nice. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. <laughs> Boy goes into an existential crisis. I remember the first time I realized that as a little kid. I freaked the heck out. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know? If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd be all worth it. Um, alright, so did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah! Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. So, is she, like, does she have to stay here? Like, is she also ill, or is she, like, a volunteer? Like, she likes to hang out here because... The way she's talking, I get the feeling that she also might be ill. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Yeah, she's here a lot. Um, tell me about the folks here. Who do you want to know about? Oh, there's so much to read. Okay, tell me about Tony first. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this little, this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. So are you saying that this guy who looks mean on the outside has a heart of gold? Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Who do you want to know about? Uh, Sue. I haven't met Sue yet, but Sue's a sweetheart, okay. Uh, but she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Um, and tell me about Jackie. Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Alright. Um... How about you? Oh, you're Jackie. Okay. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Plate plates? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? Um, alright, so I gotta talk to you a bunch now, too. Uh, sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying egg mammals in the world? Really? Are there only two... You got platypi, you got sugar gliders, um... I think echidnas also lay eggs, I could be wrong. I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. No, what about sugar gliders? I'm pretty sure they lay eggs. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. What the heck, man? Yeah, yeah, he is a little odd. Um... Did you hear about the thief? 
Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm. Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and for but a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Um, tell me about the folks here. Would you like to know about? Okay, so there's more people I can learn about. Tell me about Panky. Uh, the children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! Yeah, ice cream is pretty amazing. Uh, Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. Oh, no, like Alzheimer's stuff, dementia. Ah, oh, you're gonna make me sad, Gain. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example... Recently, the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... See, the rule of Chekhov's gun, gun would say that there's something buried in the mud out there that I need. Buried treasure! Who would you like to uh, tell me about Danielle? Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Alright. I think that's all I need from you. Um, so that would be the blood draw station. Uh, did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Alright, so is this another closet here? Or... No, it's another room. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. I want to see if I can... Wait, what? Hey, what are you doing? I, um, this is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Yeah, I wanna see if I can get something metal out of there. So you wanna use our bathroom, huh? Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know. Gosh. It looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yeah. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? Like, I guess everybody's so bored, you know, that's something to do, but, like, if I had to use the bathroom that bad, I'd just go back to the one in my room. I'll try my best, thank you. The last place I, I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Okay, cool. Uh, wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. That's a cool thing to collect, marbles. Very visually pleasing when they're all in a vase or a jar. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Winston, how are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now. Oh my gosh, you're... Ouch! Oh boy, hospital talk. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. How are you... Um, see, he looks so, like, tired, but, like, putting on a brave face. Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. 
Um, tell me about folks here. Who would you like to learn about? Okay, I already learned a little bit about Sue, but let's see what Winston has to say. On occasion, I've had to talk, take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. So are you, like, do you work here also? I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Um, and tell me about Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Kid Heroes. Okay. Cora's the one with the pink mohawk, if you forgot already. Oh, man. Yeah, this is gonna make me confront my mortality. So, uh, let's go up here. Dude drinking his coffee. Also, there's something going on back here. It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Ah. Oh. Oh, ho. Okay, so this is Kisaboro. He's the one whose mind is going, apparently. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. That's how it was getting for, um, for, uh, Kathy, um, my wife's mom towards the end. She just, she'd, like, have something she wanted to tell you, but she just couldn't get words out, and even, like, simple sentences sometimes were just like, like you'd ask her like what month it was and she'd like she, she'd act like it was on the tip of her tongue but she couldn't like form the coherent thought even though you could tell that she was hearing things all right uh oh it's terrible um i just want to make sure i say the things i need to say before it's too late did you hear about the thief I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. Yeah, they would never listen to him. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously had some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What were they crawling through- what, were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there, so I had to, like, learn who the thief is, I guess. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. So has he lost his mind, or is it just that the, like, synapsis that helps him form speech is what's going, and otherwise he's pretty, uh, cognizant. Um, I'm not one for gossip. Okay, so he doesn't want to tell you about anybody. That That's fine, I'm... I'm doing enough reading anyway. Why is everybody's bathroom locked? Dang. Okay, this door is locked. Maybe that's uh, Yami's room. I like how some people have really American names and some people have really Japanese names. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. It looks like that way goes to the cafeteria up there. A semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? Uh, do I have enough for peanut chichus? Please deposit ten... Yeah, I don't have any money. The money is in G, so this isn't necessarily, like, our world in any one country. This is, you know, an imaginary world. It's so much like To the Moon, oh my gosh. Uh, the new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Okay, so I wonder how, like, long, like, if there's multiple days over. Cats? Cat- th there are cats. Why are there so many cats? A pile of fresh- freshly made plushy toys, okay. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. I found a snowy marble, all right. Um, I told you, you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine, she's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky's the worst. Oh, but people like Pinky, I thought. Okay, as much as I want to talk to Danielle, I think for the sake of trying to get some, like, progress done in the last... Like... 
10 minutes of this episode, let's take this marble back and see what happens. All right, I've been holding my pee. Any luck? Give Sue the snowy marble, yes. You give the snowy marble to Sue. Ah, oh, you found my snow world. Snow world, like... Oh, does she like to think of all the marbles as, like, little planets? Because that would be neat. That's how I would write it. Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yeah. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets. Got a kind of, like, Horton Hears a Who vibe going here. But tiny people living inside. Oh, but they live inside. Okay. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. What kinds of parties? Snowman dance parties. <laughs> this is cute. Th this is charming. Yeah, may maybe some viewers would be into this. I love dancing. Me too. Oh. They have pretty lanterns everywhere, too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great! Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, and feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. So I get that this, like, doing a Let's Play of this would basically be me telling a story to you through these dialogues. And if there's ever something that doesn't win but you're still interested, remember that all of these games are available on Steam. Um, with the exception, actually, of Telltale's Back to the Future. I found out after I recorded that episode that uh, they... Uh, took that game down around the time when uh, Telltale was bankrupt and all of its licenses for those materials are revoked. So you can't actually buy Back to the Future, the game, on on Steam, unfortunately. Alright, so it looks like the toilet is stuck. Um, it looks like there's something shiny floating inside. Um, yeah, that's gross, but I want to try and take it anyway. Okay, I got a key to Tony's bathroom. All right. Um, it appears that there is a tunnel running through here and it's been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you have the right tools. So is that like, is that like a fallout shelter kind of thing? Like an old, like evacuation kind of, kind of situation? Well, I don't know if Tony's going to let me in his bathroom. But maybe he won't see me do it. Also... I didn't know hospital bathrooms had keys. But okay, we're in Tony's bathroom now. Oh, oh, it's red in here. And I can fill all the sinks with water and stuff. So what's going on here? Box labeled 5C power supply. A paper notice is attached to the box and there is a lever in front. Well, you should probably read the notice as much as I want to just pull the switch right away. 5C power supply. Do not tamper with this device. Um... I think I'm going to tamper with the device, guys. 5C power supply is on. Okay, and that's the name of the closet, but I still don't have a key. Okay, so I need a passcode to open it. Hmm. I have no idea what the passcode is. I'd probably look pretty suspicious just standing here entering random numbers. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, back to the cafeteria then, maybe. Uh, be nice to your mom. She works really hard, you know. I bet she does. Even the music sounds like, kind of like... Kind of like, uh, To the Moon music. I really recommend To the Moon. If you want a game... That doesn't really have any skill to it, and you just want to play something and cry. Hey, kiddo, you need something? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even old cranky men like Tony and Panky. 
Ah, I heard that. Good. Hey, kiddo. You need some... Oh, right. Um, did you hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk from across... That's across from Kisaburo's room. Interesting. Uh, what do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Okay, she's a volunteer. Okay, but she has bad eyesight, but that has nothing to do with her being, you know, here or whatever. Anyway, um, don't tell anyone I told you this, but you know how some of the doors around here... Oh, wait, wait, that's what I just picked. Oh, not what I meant to pick. Um, I just said something about cats. What did I just say? I was skipping through. Um, I guess I said that I like cats. Aren't they the best? I have, like, four of them at home. If all goes well, I'll have lucky number five by the end of the year. Yeah, what did you ask? Yeah, you like cats, right? And I said I love them. Okay. I don't- I don't want to be mean. I'm not really a huge fan of cats, to be honest, but I don't hate them or anything. Um, oh, I know all about the people here. Tell me about Winston. Uh, have you noticed Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on? What? Don't you think that's a little strange? Are they actually divorced? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Whoa. Uh, I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell that he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. Oh, I know all about the people here. Yeah, but the coffee's still being restocked in the vending machine. Um, tell me about Sue. Sue didn't used to be so poor. I didn't know she was poor. Uh, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Alright, lots of gossips around here. Uh, kitchen staff, sorry, hun, but you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. And there's, like, an ATM. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital with hall with peanut choo choos. The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like him, eh? Um, did you hear about the thief? Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? It comes down after hour after hours and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed-off passageways. Half-built rooms, storage closets, you know. The aftermath of... Well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Whoa, what happened back there? Um, tell me about the folks here. Alright, we'll let you tell us about some more folks and then I think we're done. So, uh, don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. I heard that! Huh? What can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Uh, tell me about Kisaburo. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh, yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Yeah, there's definitely something buried back there. Must be even tougher for his family. Who you want to know about? Uh, tell me about Jackie. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. You gotta cook with both, man. Gotta use both. Gotta make it with love and science. Alright, so this has been um, a starting episode of Rakuin. A uh, game about being in a hospital. I think there's also a fantasy world element, but I think it might be an imaginary fantasy world. Like, kind of like Bridge to Terabithia. Or something like that. Like, it might be a, an escape. I don't know, but uh... Yeah, if you want to see me, like, parse out, go around, try and figure out how to 
you know, satisfy all these people's demands, I could probably do that. Just uh, leave a comment saying that you want to see more. Shift leader says I'm bugging her. My stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Yeah, so I'd need some money. If I get money, I can get a peanut choo-choo. Give it to her, then get back there, try and find out what the passcode is to that door that's down there. Oh, so many possibilities. And then maybe I could get digging supplies and get into the back area. Who knows, who knows, who knows. I just want to know what's buried out there. Is there anywhere else I can go? It doesn't look like it. All right, so um, this has been the Comic Foil. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more. Uh, this is still Steam Sember 2020. Lots going on. Uh, there's a sign on this door. Let's read it. Uh, storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. And why is it in my room? Nah, I get it. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow with a brand new game.